Hey, what's up everybody? It is DJ Jer here with Shop Time to go over a couple things. I've had a lot of questions regarding when should I use wireless, when should I not use wireless when it comes to DMX. So a couple different things I want to show you here. First of all, there's a lot of different types of receivers, transceivers, and uh, this is, you know, your normal, uh, I think it's a Wysicle. Uh, we've got a couple of these. Um, we also have the Chauvet DJ uh, USB DeFi, which a lot of the Chauvet fixtures will have the DeFi feature. And uh, so when not to use wireless. So a couple things to keep in mind is if you are in a large facility and your signals have to go uh, across the room, transmit all the way across to the room, um, if it's going to be interference when you have all these bodies and cell phones and things like that going on inside of a room, and then also think about, is there another event going on next to you? Are they using wireless signal? Are you on the same transmissions? Are you using the same signals? Uh, you want to keep in mind some of those situations. The other thing too is if you are in a, if you're in an area and you're flying trussing and you have lighting up into the ceiling, you might want to stick with a hardwired DMX cable. So this is the Chauvet DJ um, DMX cables. They're the nice thing is they are color coded, so you know exactly that you're roughly your lengths. But I would always recommend hard wiring up to a truss because. If for some reason you lose signal or your your signal is not working correctly or all of a sudden you know your lights are supposed to be shooting on the stage and now they're doing all this flipping around and changing and all this stuff um, you can't fix that situation in that moment you have to basically go get a ladder or lower the truss and get up there and make the changes that you need so anything up in the ceiling i always recommend doing a hard wire you know get some good 50 footers 100 footers um, and use a DMX specific cable. XLR cables are for audio. Use your DMX cables um, because of the transmission and the frequencies that are going through those cables. The again, the the wireless. If you have a Freedom or you have an Echo or you have some type of uplight that uplight that is battery powered and it is wireless DMX, that's a lot easier just to go over there and switch that light out. Again, if you're doing stuff in the ceiling. I would highly recommend going to a cable and staying away from wireless DMX. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment or question down below uh, on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, guys. This is DJ Jer with Shop Time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.